Hello everyone, welcome back to Titopia Tech. Today we're comparing the Bob and Brad IOASIS 2 and the Renfo Iris 1 eye massager. I've used the Renfo Iris 1 eye massager for a few months. I went on a trip to EDC Las Vegas and I brought the Bob and Brad eye massager along with me to help recover after those long nights raving. I have plenty of experience with both these devices and I'm happy to give an unbiased and fair comparison between both of these eye massagers. And with that being said, the Bob and Brad team did go ahead and they sent me the IOASIS 2 eye massager. Um, this is actually my first ever sponsored product. Um, all opinions in this review are my own. They did not require me to say anything good about this eye massager. They just sent me an email and they asked if I want to just test it. And I said, yeah, I'm down. And they sent it to me. So here it is right here. And it's perfect because uh, I do not want to buy two eye massagers. These are pretty expensive. So I'm glad they sent this out to me for free. The main categories we'll be taking a look at with these devices are comfort, functionality, and features. I'm going to go ahead and give both eye massagers a full session so I can directly compare what one session is like compared to the other. Okay, so I've just given both of these devices one full session and here are my findings. First, we're gonna start with the Bob and Brad eye massager. So one of the first things I noticed is that there are four audio tracks on this eye massager. Two of them are songs, and then the other two are sort of ambient noise. One of the ambient noise sounds like rain and the other ambient noise sounds like flowing water. The speakers on this, on the Bob and Brad headset sound really bad. These sound like pretty horrible. Um, connected up to my phone. Uh, that music did not sound good at all, but this is an eye massager, not a uh, headphone, so I don't really expect too much out of these speakers. Something else I liked when I was wearing this eye massager is that the massage is dynamic, so it doesn't just repeat the same pattern over and over again. Sometimes you'll have a strong pressure on your eyes, and then other times you'll have pressure going between your eyes and your temples, which I like how it switches up, and the, and the whole journey is uh, sort of a new massage. It's not never repeating. Another thing I noticed is when I did want to change the settings, you can see right here that there are four buttons. And these buttons make it really easy for me to switch back and forth between all the settings. I don't have to take off the headset and look at the buttons and put it back on. I don't have to worry about pressing them by accident. Okay, and here are my findings with the Renfo. This is not yet a comparison. This is just two experiences that I had with both the eye massagers through one session. This one also has a dynamic massage, so throughout the whole massage is going to be switching up and doing certain, uh, doing different things. Another thing I noticed is that this headset has two songs. I actually really like these songs. One of them has a bird like tweeting in the background. It actually sounds really nice when I'm uh, relaxing with this on. Something I noticed on actually both of these devices is that there's some nice intro. So they basically say, hello, welcome, sit back, relax, enjoy your massage. And then at the end it has you just wait a little bit longer before taking the headset off. Some other things I noticed, I actually covered this in my last review, is that when I'm wearing this, this eye massager, I press these buttons sometimes by accident. If I'm going to change the song, change the vibration, change the mode, I accidentally press all these different buttons and it's really annoying because then I have to wait and cycle through all the settings again to get to the setting I want to. I do not like these buttons that much. Also when I put it on, I tap them by accident sometimes. So maybe I'll turn it off or maybe I'll change the volume or do some weird setting and then you take it off all the time. Overall, between both of these devices, I think the massages felt really nice. I think that eye massagers are really good, not in only the sense that they massage your eyes and massage your temples, but I also think it's good to meditate and relax. It lets you sit back, you kind of disconnect from the world. As long as you're not really playing any other out external stuff, you can play music or whatever, but I think it's really good to disconnect from the real world, sit back and relax for 15 minutes. It's also really good, I have eye pain because I work at the computer all day long. So when I do get eye pain, I throw this on and usually it helps relieve the eye pain. Uh, I don't know what the cause is, maybe it's a massage, but maybe it's my eyes are closed, but then whatever it does, the eye massages are good for that. Okay, and now I'm going to directly compare both of the eye massager sessions. First, I noticed that the speakers are way better on the Renfo. The music sounded clear and higher quality, while on the Bob and Brad, the quality was not as good. To be clear, both of these eye massagers both have bad quality, it's just that one was worse than the other. Something else I noticed is that the Renfo eye massager is overall less comfortable than the Bob and Brad. With the Renfo eye massager, I felt pressure on the upper side of my eye and also on my cheekbones right here. With the Bob and Brad, I felt even pressure across my face and it felt pretty comfortable. It seemed like the weight was evenly distributed on my face. The Renfo eye massager has the option for vibration, although I do not prefer to use the vibration feature because it feels kind of cheap and it takes me out of my relaxation state that I'm in. The Bob and Brad eye massager does not have a vibration feature. I would actually like if this thing had a vibration feature, but it was more of a high quality vibration. During these sessions, I also noticed that the Renfo eye massager got a little bit hotter on my eyes than the Bob and Brad. They both felt pretty good and that the heat was satisfactory on both of them. 
just the Renfro was hotter. Something I noticed on both of the eye massagers is that when the audio track ends, it kind of jarringly resets the audio track back to the start. And if you are relaxing, it could take you a little bit out of your like relaxation state as well because it's not a smooth transition. I think that both of these devices could do with somebody who mixes the audio and makes it a smooth transition between one track to another or, eat, or just repeats the track very smoothly, kind of like a white noise or something that you never know it resets. It's just always the same sound. I know it's hard with music, but it can be done. Something else I noticed with both the eye massagers is that the strap here on both of them, both of these straps, they sit across your ear right here. They sit across your ear and it's a little bit tight on there. It's not that comfortable. I, I wish that maybe the strap was bigger and covered your whole ear, maybe bigger and softer. I know that can maybe cause some issues with uh, heat, but I, I think that there should be some solution to make the strap a little bit more comfortable on both of them, by the way. One last point that I noticed is that the massage points on the Bob and Brad eye massager seem to be hitting better spots on my face. With the Renfo eye massager, I would be using it and I would have to sort of adjust the eye massager in a certain position where it would hit the points that I want it to hit. So maybe if I wanted to hit my temples, I'd maybe move it up a bit more and then it would put more pressure on my temples. Or if I wanted to maybe hit my actual eye a bit more, I'd move it up a bit to hit my eye as well. With the Bob and Brad eye massager, I would just put it on my face and it, it felt like it was in the right spot already. Okay, and last, we're going to be getting a bit more into the technical side with the physical devices themselves. First, we're gonna start off with the Bob and Brad. As you guys know that this one has physical tactile buttons. Well, with the Renfo, we have these buttons here, which you can't even tell when you're pressing them. They're flat and there's no sensation when you touch them. You have to hold them down too, and it delays sometimes when you press it, it delays, which is kind of annoying. Another minor detail is that both of these devices have charging in different areas. As you can see, the USB-C charging is on the left earpiece on the Bob and Brad right here, where with the Renfo, you need to pinch it down and it's in between in the middle. The downside of this is that you cannot charge this device while it's in the open state. For the Bob and Brad, if it's closed like this, you can charge it. The Bob and Brad eye massager came with a travel case right here, which is actually really nice. I use this on my trip. You fold the eye massager and you fold it right up into the travel case. So it's a little padded case, just a little nice extra feature they have here. There's Bob and Brad on the side. Another minor detail is that the Bob and Brad eye massager is going to show a blue light when it's fully charged and the Renfo is going to show a green light. That's not even a big deal, just something I noticed when testing these devices. Setting wise, the Renfo has no adjustability for the heat level, where with the Bob and Brad eye massager, you can change between two different heat levels. So if you want it a bit lighter, you can uh, get that lower on the heat level there. Well, with the, the Renfo one, it's a bit hotter in my opinion, but you can only turn it off or have maximum heat. With the Bob and Brad, you have soft, moderate, and strong pressure levels. With the Renfo, you only have soft or strong. Overall, these devices look really similar as you can see here. It's up to preference which one you like more. I kind of like how the Bob and Brad one looks. Look kind of like a more performed design. Something I noticed too is that this strap versus this strap, this one's actually a bit softer. This one's a bit tougher, but I do prefer the Bob and Brad strap. I don't really know why, just when I'm wearing it. When it's across my ears, it feels more comfortable. I think it's just a little bit, here you can see the difference there. It's a little bit thinner. So maybe it just doesn't intercept my ear as much as the Renfo one. Okay, so what is the final verdict? Like I said, all opinions are my own. I gave you guys the facts and it's up to you guys to watch the video and decide which features you prefer. The final decision is up to you in the end. I feel like the Bob and Brad eye massager wins out in the end. It has better comfort with the balanced weight on my head and the more comfortable strap. Functionality wise, you have more options to customize your own personalized relaxation session. Feature-wise, I think that both of the devices are tied. The Renfo one gets a little bit hotter, so if you prefer warmer eyes, then the Renfo might be something you like. It's not that much hotter, but it's a little bit hotter, it's noticeable. Also, the speakers are better on the Renfo. Like I said, both of these speakers are not good at all. They're both really bad, but the Renfo is a bit better than the Bob and Brad one. Also, the sound selection on the Renfo uh, is preferable to my ears. I like the, I like the birds chirping. It's pretty relaxing, I like how it sounds. The Bob and Brad ties with the Renfo because it has the physical buttons. The Renfo buttons give me stress. They actually give me a lot of stress because I'm trying to put this on my head and it starts turning on or changing settings. I don't like that. With the Bob and Brad one, 
these physical buttons are really important because you can just put this thing on, you, have, you don't have to worry about changing settings. And when it's on your head, if you do want to change heat level, change the uh, massage type or the mode that you're on for the massage, you can do that, uh, change the strength, you can do that and also change volume. You can do all that stuff on your head. With a Renfo, I'd have to take it off and just, it, it, would, it would annoy me in the middle of my session. Also, it came with this cool little travel case, which is a nice touch on top of everything else. And that is the final video, guys. So in the end, it's up to you guys. I have a uh, link in the description for 10% off the Bob and Brad. I will also link the Ren folders. They didn't send this to me, I bought this with my own money. So I have no link or anything there. Um, but they're both around the same price. This one has some discount for $15 off, plus the 10% that you guys are gonna get. This one says it's listed for like $120 or something with a 50% discount. I, it's obviously just Amazon marketing tactics. Same thing with the coupon here. But in the end, they're both going to be around the same price. I think the Bob and Brad one with a 10% off, I think that would be a little bit cheaper. So in my opinion, I would choose the Bob and Brad in the end, a little bit cheaper, way more features, and you get this little cool traveling case. Uh, like I said, up to you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.